We are the X, the Gen X mutant monster I'm gone wrong, the chromosome nobody counted on because we were uncanny. X man, the sex man, the next man to rule the planet, the peace extremists with X-ray vision to see past the bullshit of vapor and brethren to burn the acid swigging, hippie loving, tree hugging, baby killing, Nazi hiding, homophobic crowd. We were raised on our 80s consumerism, mannerisms, when communism made our schoolhouses rock. Conjunction, junction, what is your major malfunction? In what way did I serve my generation? Generation X, Terminator X, Plan X, Racer X, Triple X, X marks the spot where we drop the bomb, the bomb, the ball, the botch, the bout, the ball broke, the cradle fell, straight to hell, we are not doing well. Xerox a copy and say it again, 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 I saw the best minds of my generation overdose on no dose pills of promise we made to ourselves say our saviors of the lightsaber systematically switch to new coke and then slither back into the stream of classic streams when we were the pepsi generation hamper been the heroin free base the ecstasy why we don't ask stupid questions we're not the why generation the wine generation generation why but why 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 is the world so messed up why is the economy in shambles i'll tell you why because we fucked up because we're slackers crackers flackers whackers wankers Tankers, losers, boozers, we don't care. We never cared. We are that psycho ex-girlfriend that said she loved you and would never leave you and then fucked you, then thought you were cheating, flipped out, broke into your house, clogged up your toilet, took a shit in your dishwasher, and set fire to all your porn. Then, and I'm not talking the crappy four-hour cheesy 70s porn. I'm talking the good shit with Tiffany Minx and Katie Gold and Chasey Lane and Jenna Jameson, even that illegal one with Tracy Lords that you kept hidden in the AC van, because all those cock lovers were Gen Xers too. And we can't jump into a DeLorean, crank up the fluff capacitor and fly through time to warn ourselves that we're going to become assholes, dreams, dick punks, chumps, pricks, faggots, rats, licking baby fuckers. Run for it, Marty! <laughs> poison the earth by trying to save it, set fire to the flag and blame the Brunette Republicans, be generous in our accusations of fun terrorism, blow the holes in our own self-sacrifice, watch the trench coat mafia annihilate the hopes and dreams of prom night virgin killers on the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock news for one month straight. There's no X factor that's going to kick in where someone from 21 Jump Street is going to wake us up one morning while we realize that we fell asleep at the wheel while our weird crackhead cousin is running the country butt naked, smarter than smooth Arab crew with a 10 gallon hat and a cowboy boots and a hair trigger with silver spurs and a six chamber revolver that he keeps pulling. Click. As if there's one more bullet in it. Click. With the world's name on it. Blam! Fuck it! Misfire! And I'm so tired of making excuses for my ex filed humanity, defining into catastrophe this ex lax excuse for a society violently becoming some sickos, twisted snuff film, where our souls are assassinated every night, where we've lost every single battle, and are still fighting the war against freedom, acceptance, and tolerance. We were told about these things. We were warned about the dark side foaming through the foamy bong water of Notre Dame's skull. And, well, you know, we can't do anything about it anymore. The doors to the gulag of our government can't be opened any longer. So let's ready that two-bit baby boomer bastard that Ferris fed us lies, got us drunk on cheap wine, and fucked us silly, and then raped our country with his big, thick, red dick. Cast street that cokehead cocksucker. They don't get two tons of a dead doctor to what anyone says. The only weapons of mass destruction that we've ever found is our own ignorance. And we're all guilty. I wasn't even 10 when I first saw a porn sized cock. I was amazed at the sight. I couldn't believe the size, the texture, or the smell. The way the moonlight shined off the tip, burning up the woman on top. It's not that I hadn't seen a cock before, and I don't mean just mine. After all, my daddy, he did like the bathhouses. But men in there were average Joes, really normal guys, or at least as normal as you can be if you find it necessary to be surrounded by hairy asses just to take a bath. But anyway, I digress. Let me get back to the porn-sized cock, the vagina and the foreskin, the tired static camera, the muted TV screen, wrapped in prepubescent and wandering eyes. Let me talk about the subtitles, as no Spanish speaker would want to miss a single twist in the complex plotline. How the hell else were we supposed to know that more, more really meant mass, mass, or that oh my god really meant that the porn-sized cock 
dog was hitting all the right spots. <laughs> How the hell else was I supposed to know that cocks like this were born and never made? No matter how hard I pull, no matter how hard I wish, mine to grow, to be porn size, to have the texture or the smell, so that moonlight could shine on the tip and burn out both my eyes. How the hell was I supposed to know that porn size cocks are but another symptom of the bigger, faster and more American type of a dream life? How the hell is anyone supposed to know any of the sorts, especially when they're not even 10 years old?